Magandang buhay po at welcome po sa aking channel. Ang channel po na kasama nyo sa inyong pag-aaral ngayon pong panahon ng pandemic. Ngayon po ay tuturan ko po kayo on how to find the measure of other angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. This lesson is for grade 7 learner, third quarter. At ginawa ko po itong Tagalog version upang sa gaon ay maintindihan po ninyo yung aking pagpapaliwanag. At sa ating pong pagpapatuloy, click lamang po ang like and subscribe upang sa gaon ay ma-update pa po kayo sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Sa ngayon po ay nagagawa pa po, po ako ng mga learning tasks at performance tasks ngayon pong third quarter. Okay, so to get the measurement of angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal, ay kailangan po muna nating maintindihan yung relationship ng uh, angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal. Piprosent ko po sa inyo. So, for example, that is parallel lines MN. And we have a line cross the parallel lines and we call this one as line T. Ang tawag po dyan ay transversal. Ano po? So, there are how many angles form? There are 8. So, tingnan po natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, there are 8 angles formed. So, sa mga angles po na yan, ay mayroon po silang relationship. Ano po? So, tingnan po natin. Mag-base po tayo sa unang angle. First angle, angle 1. Angle 1 po ay mayroon po siyang relationship sa angle 3. So, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So, sila po ay equal. Ano po? And we call that one as vertical angles. Okay? Another one. Compare po natin yung angle 1 sa angle 5. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 5. So, ano naman po yung ta tawag dyan? That is corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are congruent. Ano po? So, another angle na i-compare po natin sa angle 1 is angle 7. So, 1 and 7. So, the measurement of angle 1 is congruent to the measurement of angle 7. And we call this one as alternate exterior angles. Ano po? So, Another one, if you compare the measurement of angle 2 with angle 1. So, kapag i-compare na po natin yan, yung angle 2 at angle 1, we call this one as supplementary angles. So, hindi po sila congruent yung angle 2 and angle 1. They are supplementary. Ano po yung supplementary? Yung sum nila should be equal to 180. So, mamaya po, bibigyan ko po kayo ng example about supplementary angles. Ano po? So, tuloy po natin yung relationship po ng angles. Okay, angle 2 and angle 4 ay mayroon po silang uh, relationship. Ano po? Yung kulay blue. So, they are what? Vertical angles. Kagaya po ng angle 1 at angle 3. Ano po? So, 2 and 4 is congruent also because they are vertical angles. Another one, i-compare po natin sa angle 2 is that angle 6. So, again, angle 2 is congruent to angle 6 by corresponding angles. Ano po? And the last one, angle 8. So, angle 2 and angle 8 are congruent angles because they are alternate exterior angles. So, meron pa po relationship dyan. If you notice yung kulay blue na nasa loob ng parallel lines, yung angle 4 at angle 6, they are alternate interior angles. Gawin din po yung 3 at 5, they are alternate interior angles. Ano po? So, they are equal. So, lahat ng Blue po dyan ay congruent yung measurement or equal. Alat nung kulay red po na angles, lahat po yan ay the same yung kanilang measurement. Mamaya po, bibigyan ko po kayo ng example. Okay, so para mas lalo po natin maintindihan yung relationship ng bawat angles formed by parallel lines cut by a transversal, ay ipipresent po natin yan by measurement. So for example, yan po yung ating uh, figure at the measure of angle 1 is equal to 100 degrees. So, ano kaya ang measurement ng angle 2? Measurement of angle 3, angle 4, 5, angle 6, measurement of angle 7, and measurement of angle 8. So, lahat po yan ay makukuha po natin yung measurement. Kahit isa lang po dyan ang given, lahat po ng angles dyan ay makukuha na po natin yung kanyang measurement. Ano po? Okay. So, if angle 1 is equal to 100 degrees, Mayroon po siyang relationship sa angle 3. Di ba po? Sabi po natin kanina, uh, 1 and 3, they are vertical angles. So, ibig sabihin, ang measurement ng angle 3 is 100 degrees also. Ano po? Because they are congruent. Another one. 
Ano ba po yung uh, may relationship sa angle 1? That is angle 5. Ano po? So, yung measurement ng angle 5 is equal to the measurement of angle 1. Ano po? So, angle 5 is equal to 100 degrees also. Ano po yung relationship nila, yung 1 and 5? They are corresponding angles. Ano po? Another one. Okay, 5. Another one is measurement of angle 7. Ano po? So, yung angle 7 at angle 1, mayroon po silang relationship and they are congruent. Ano po? So, if they are congruent, 1 and 7, so measurement of angle 7 is 100 by alternate exterior angles. Ano po? So, na-compute po natin. So, lahat po ng kulay red dyan na may mark na angles, they are all equal to 100 degrees. Ano po? Congruent po sila lahat. How about yung kulay blue? Yung measurement ng angle 2. Sabi ko po kanina, ang relationship ng measurement ng 1 and 2, they are supplementary. So, if they are supplementary, yung sum ng kanilang angle should be 180 degrees. So, kung yung measurement ng angle 1 is 100, kung dapat 180 sila, ano pa yung dadagdag sa 100 para maging 180? Natural. 80 po. So, therefore, yung measurement ng angle 2 should be 80 degrees. If you add 80 plus 100 is equal to 180. Yan po yung ibig sabihin ng supplementary. Ano po? Okay. So, kung nakuha na po natin yung measurement ng angle 2, madali na po makuha yung measurement ng angle 4. So, 2 and 4, again, they are congruent because they are vertical. So, the measurement of angle 4 is equal to 80 degrees also. Another one, if you compare yung angle 2 sa angle 6, they are congruent. Ano po? 80 degrees also yung measurement niya by corresponding angles. Okay? And the last one na wala pong measurement yan is measure of angle 8. So, pwede yung uh, angle 8 if you compare with angle 2 or you compare with angle 8, uh, angle 6 rather. So, kapag compare pa sa angle 6, they are vertical. Kapag naman po sa angle 2, they are uh, alternate exterior angles. So, therefore, angle 8 is equal to 80 degrees also. If you notice, dapat dalawa lang ang measurement. Ano po? Kapag ganyan po yung figure natin. Okay? So, mamaya po, bigyan po kayo ng example on how to find x with the given measurement. Okay? So, how about if this is the question? Find x. And this is the figure. If the measurement of angle 1 is 100 degrees, and the measurement of angle 5 is x plus 70 degrees. So, what is the value of x? Yan. So, to solve for x, i-apply po natin yung relationship ng bawat angles. Diyan po dun sa walong angles na yan. Ano po? Yan na pag-aralan po natin kanina. So, how to solve? Ano po yung relationship ng angle 1 sa angle 5? They are equal or congruent. Ano po? By corresponding angle. So, angle 1 is equal to the measurement of angle 5 by corresponding angles. So, madalang pong isolve yung value ng x dyan. Sa substitute lang po natin yung kanilang value. So, yung measurement ng angle 1 is 100 degrees is equal to yung measurement ng angle 5 is x plus 70. Tanggal lang po muna natin yung degrees. Mamaya po natin ilagay sa sagot. Ano po? So, pagkatapos mo natin may substitute, ay solve for x. So, equation na po yan. 100 is equal to x plus 70. So, to solve for x, lipat po natin sa 70 sa kabilang side sa left side. So, passive 70, pag lipat po natin sa left side, magiging minus 70. Is equal to, ang maltira po sa right side ay x. Ano po? And then, subtract, 100 minus 70 is equal to 30. So, 30 is equal to x. Or, pwede po natin balik na rin, x is equal to 30. So, therefore, nasolve na po natin yung value ng x na hinahanap ng problem. And x is equal to 30. Okay, so how about if this is the question number 2? Find x and the measurement of angle 3 with the given figure. Ano po? So the measurement of angle 3 is 2x plus 40 degrees. And the measurement ng angle 5 is equal to x plus 70 degrees. So ang hinahanap ng problem ay yung value ng x at yung measurement ng angle 3. Ano po? So, meron po bang relationship ng angle 3 at angle 5? Meron po. Sabi ko po kanina, they are alternate interior angles. So, if they are alternate interior angles, then they are congruent. So, susunod mo natin yung x. So, for x, since angle 3 is equal to angle 5, 
by alternate interior angles, sasabitute lang natin yung given nila. Ano po? So, yung measurement ng angle 3i, 2x plus 40, is equal to measurement ng angle 5 is x plus 70. So, again, pwedeng tanggal mo rin yung degrees, then mamaya po natin lalagay sa sagot. Ano po? Okay. So, since ang hinahanap dito ay x, wala pong degree yung sagot. Ano po? So, meron na po tayong equation, 2x plus 40 is equal to x plus 70. So, pagsamayin lang po natin yung term na x at yung walang term ng x. Ano po? So, yung x na nasa right side, lipat po natin sa left side. So, 2x, pag lipat mo yung x doon sa right side, magiging minus x kasi positive siya. Is equal to yung 70, nililipat natin yung positive 40, magiging negative 40 sa kabilang side ng equation. Ano po? Then, subtract 2x minus x is equal to x. Is equal to 70 minus 40 is 30. So, therefore, the value of x is equal to 30. So, nasolve na po natin yung value ng x, masosolve na po natin yung uh, measurement ng angle 3. Okay? So, to solve for the measure of angle 3, this is the solution, gagamitin po natin yung value ng x na nasolve po natin, which is equal to 30. Ano po? So, ano po ba yung uh, degree or measurement ng angle 3? So, the measurement of angle 3 is equal to 2x plus 40. Ano po? Yung nasa figure. Okay? So, to solve for the measure of angle 3, sa substitute lang po natin yung value ng x. So, this will become measure of angle 3 is equal to 2 times x is 30. So, 2 times 30 plus 40. Then, multiply po muna natin yung 2 times 30. This will become 2 times 30 is 60 plus 40. And then, i-add lang po natin yung 60 plus 40, that is equal to 100. So, the measurement of angle 3 is equal to 100 degrees. Okay, so how about if this is the given? Find the measurement of angle 7 with this figure. So, the measurement of angle 2 is 2x minus 40. And the measurement of angle 7 is x plus 40 degrees. Okay, so, if you notice, wala po silang relationship na nabanggit ko po kanina. Pero actually, mayroon po yan. Ano po? So, makukuha po natin yung measurement yan o may -re relate po natin yung measurement ng angle 2 sa measurement ng angle 7. Ano po? So, para mas madaling maintindihan, ilapit po natin. Yung angle 2 ay mayroon po siyang relationship sa angle 6. Ano po? At sila po ay congruent because they are corresponding angle. So, therefore, ang measurement din ng angle 6 is 2x minus 40. Okay, mayroon na po ba ang relationship yung 6 at 7 or angle 6 at angle 7? Mayroon na po. Okay, since nasa isang side po sila, okay, if you notice, they are what? Supplementary angles. And supplementary angles are what? They should be or the measurement should be equal to 180 degrees. Ano po? So, hindi po natin kaagad-agad masosolve yung measurement ng angle 7. Ang kailangan natin ay masolve muna yung value ng x bago po natin masolve yung angle 7. Ano po? Okay, so, x muna ang isosolve natin for x. Okay? So, ang relationship ng angle 6 at angle 7, they are supplementary. So, i-add lang natin, measure of angle 6 plus measure of angle 7 is equal to 180 degrees or 180, ano po, supplementary angles. So, yan po yung equation na gagamitin natin para masolve po yung value ng x. At pag nakuha po yung value ng x, sa substitute lang po natin dun sa equation ng angle 7, makukuha na po yung measurement ng angle 7. Ano po? So, substitute po natin. Measurement of angle 6 is 2x minus 40 plus the measurement of angle 7 is x plus 40 is equal to 180. Okay? So, if you notice sa ating equation, madali na pong makuha yung value ng x dyan. Ano po? Pagsamain lang po natin yung 2x plus x magiging 3x at is equal to 180. Lilipat po natin yung minus 40 at plus 40. Ano po? So, yung minus 40 magiging plus 40 at yung plus 40 magiging minus 40. Ano po? Kasi ililipat po natin. Ibig sabihin, magkikins po tayo ng sign. Or, pwede rin po dyan kaagad, isubtract po na yung negative 40 plus 40 is 0. Ano po? So, tingnan po natin. So, 3x is equal to 180. So, plus 40 minus 40. So, what is 40 minus 40? Diba, 0 na po yan. So, matitira lang po dyan ay 
180. Ano po? Kinras post ko lang po para hindi po kayo malito. Okay? Okay. So, 3x is equal to 180. Ang hinahanap natin dyan ay yung value ng x. Eh, may kasama yung x na 3. So, paano natin susolve yung value ng x? So, di-divide natin yung equation ng 3. So, both sides of the equation, we are going to divide by 3. Okay? Bakit po 3? Kasi 3 yung kasama ng x to cancel 3. Ano po? So, ang matitira na lang po sa left side ay x is equal to, yan, what is 180 divided by 3? That is equal to 60. So, x is equal to 60. Ngayon, makukuha na po natin yung measurement ng angle 7. Okay, so for the measurement of angle 7, so ang solution lang po niyan ay kunin lang po natin yung uh, angle 7. Ano po ba yun? So, using x is equal to 60. So, the measurement of angle 7 is equal to x plus 40 na nasa figure. Ano po? Substitute lang po natin yung value ng x which is 60. So, measurement of angle 7 is equal to x is 60 plus 40. So, measurement of angle 7 is equal to 60 plus 40 is 100. So, measurement of angle 7 is equal to 100 degrees. Okay, how about this figure for number 4 question? Find the measurement of angle 7 again. Pero iba na po yung given. So, the measurement of angle 1 is x plus 30 degrees. And the measurement of angle 7 is 2x minus 10 degrees. Ano po? So, what is the relationship of angle 1 and angle 7? So, madali lang po yan. Ano po? They are, what? They are congruent or equal. Ano po? Pero, hindi po natin kagad masosolve yung measurement ng angle 7. Kailangan mo natin isolve yung value ng x. Ano? So, for x, using the concept that angle 1 and angle 7 are congruent, so they are equal. Okay? By alternate exterior angles. Ano po? Okay, substitute lang po natin. Angle 7 is 2x minus 10 is equal to angle 1 is x plus 30. Okay? So, madi lang po yan equation. Again, transpose lang po natin yung x sa left side. So, 2x, positive x magiging minus x is equal to yung 30. Lipat din po natin yung minus 10 magiging plus 10 sa kabila. Okay? Then, subtract po natin. 2x minus x is equal to x. Is equal to 10 plus. Uh, 30 plus 10 is equal to 40. So, the value of x is equal to 40. So, masasolve na po natin yung measurement ng angle 7. Okay, so, for the measurement of angle 7, so, ang solution lang po niyan, again, kukulun po natin yung uh, angle 7 na degree doon. Ano po? So, using x is equal to 40, yung value ng x. So, the measurement of angle 7 is equal to 2x minus 10. Ano po? In as a figure. So, substitute natin. Measurement of angle 7 is equal to 2 times x. Kaya 2 times 40 minus 10. Then, multiply po natin. 2 times 40 is equal to 80 minus 10. Okay? Is equal to 80, 80 minus 10 is equal to 70 degrees. So, the measurement of angle 7 is equal to 70 degrees. Okay, salamat po sa inyong panood. Nawa po ay natulungan ko po kayo sa inyong aralin. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.